What's going on folks? Welcome back to the channel TNT Neon Prime here and we're back with another review and this time the review is on G.I. Joe Classified General Clayton Hawk Abernathy if I said that right. <laughs> I think I said that right but yes uh, this is 103 of the classifieds so let's go ahead and get into the box art. So we have here General Hawk here on the front of uh, the box here. Look like he is leading his troops, leading the Joe troop troops for on, on a uh, Cobra attack. Um, we also have uh, his accessory that come with it: helmet, his uh, shotgun, two types of shotguns and uh, two types of pistols with a different set of goggles also have the nice artwork here on the front also we have G.I. Joe classified on the bottom his name this is uh, 103 take time to scan the QR code if you would like on the back a little more detail on him we do have see he have a little bit of gray here so he is one of the oldest out of the G.I. Joe groups all right, and there he is on the side. So let's go ahead and get him out the box. All right, so we get ready to open up Mr. Hulk. Let's open it up. Let me see what's inside. First we pull that out of the way. All right, so we have nothing else in this box at his back. We do have Mr. General Hawk uh, weapon chest here. They have General Hawk here on the top. The handles here, so I have it upside down for that. And 103 GI Joe Star. So let's go ahead and open it up. So that's all we have out of his box. Get that out of the way. All right, so we're gonna go over his accessories. Have here a nice looking shotgun so it looks really really good see the the pump here nice handle nice detail on that also have a little bit of detail here so you can see that nice grip handle nice detail on the handle back here on the back the stock so, and it is also ported for muzzle effects all right, we have another shotgun here with a little more detailing in it. So this shotgun is just this shotgun is a tad longer. So it's also pump action. The strap is on a flexible rubber. Now this is what should be flexible and not the weapons. So I like that. That looks really, really well. And it is also ported for uh, muzzle effects. Alright, up next is another handgun. Well, it is a handgun, not another handgun. But it has great detailing. Detail you see the star there on it. So that's some great detailing there. And it is also ported for muzzle effects. And the material on this is made out of good material also. Then we have another handgun. Some great detailing on this. Has a 
clip here but it's now removable and it is also ported for muzzle effects. Then we have two type of goggles here. This goggle got one set of goggles will go over the helmet and this will go over his head and they pretty much the same goggles and they do fit on the inside of one another so you know which one goes on the head and which one goes on the helmet. Alright, last but not least of the accessories, we do have his hat, which is painted. Nice detailing, has the dent here. So it looked like it was took, it was hit just right, the dent right there. Also has the dent here. It has scratches on the back, there's one more dent there, so it is greatly detailed scratch coming from here to here so it's greatly detailed and it's made out of soft rubbery material all right so go over detailing with him ah uh, this face go <laughs> it is gorgeous i mean the detailing in here you got the wrinkles up here in his forehead has the gray hair on his hair also has the gray hair on the side of his hair and also over here uh, ears look really good nice detailing here uh, on the nose looks really good um, the nice dent right there inside the nose area around the lips area this right here looks good even has a dent in the chin there detailing on the shirt has his uh, general shirt on has the stars here nice detailing for the leather coat with the fur here on the side as it travels along the back here um, also with the star here on <clears throat> his right chest area and his name last name stitch uh, painted there on there so I don't know if y'all can see that real good let me get that focus in so you can see that right there his name up there looks really really good also, we know that he is a general, so we have all his badges here, along with the hawk there. Um, this, the <clears throat> uh, shoulder strap holster looks really good. Uh, we go ahead and stick the gun in there so you can see how that works out. The leather, make it look like it's real leather. That's, that's detail. Also, the zippers here on the jacket looks really good the pockets here on the jacket with the worn leather so let you know it's been worn out also it travels along the back great detailing on that um on his arms he has yo joe so we got right there say yo joe right there with the gi joe star also has the american flag here on this side right here on the shoulder uh, nice detailing in the belt with the silver belt buckle where the belt holster with the belt buckle also has uh, his compartment his, uh, compartment holders here also has Hawk here on the gold belt buckle nice strap you can see that strap make it look like it's real leather there also we'll go ahead and stick that gun in there So you can see how that fit. Great detail and where it got it cut out, so the the hammer won't interrupt the so it won't interrupt the hammer there. All right. So we have right here detailing with the camo pants on with the pocket. Uh, great detailing with the wrinkles here. Detailing in the boots. Stitch down the lace up boots. Lace the boots up. So that face sculpt looks really, really good. Great detailing in the eyes, the eyebrows, uh, the neck. Nice, set, how it shows the Adam's apple. Nice, nice neck, nice strong neck. So yeah, great detailing. All right, next we're gonna get into articulation this guy. <clears throat> All right, as far as articulation is, his head can go up this far can go down that far can swivel uh, 
this neck is real stiff, so I don't know if that joker moves or not. So I ain't gonna try it because I don't want to break it. Um, he can do the full T with that going on. So you get the full T. Also has double jointed elbows. So I already have one bit in right there. Neck going on right there. Double jointed elbows. Has a by swivel. Also had that new drop down joint so it can get that rotation with that nice drop down joint. Um, these little sockets in here are loose on mine, on my copy. So I don't know if they're supposed to fit tight or not, but it's loose. Um, he has sort of a ab crunch, but not much of an ab crunch has an upper torso swivel so you can see how that belt drops that coat uh, the bottom of the coat drops down in there also did not know that he has <laughs> his actual belt is here so yeah that is, that's pretty neat all right uh leg can kick out that far can kick back far also it has the drop down joint in it can get almost a full split with that double knee bend. You can see there, so we got double knee bend there. Pinless joints, elbows and knees. Pinless joints. Also, we have a boot swivel, has a toe up, toe down. Also has a full tilt full tilt with the, elbow, with the toes so you can get that going on so yes yeah, this really really great Joe's come a long ways all right all right there he is with the goggles on so I'm gonna drop that helmet on him so you can see what that looks like all right then we're gonna just put the helmet on them so you can see what it looks like without the goggles being on the helmet then we're going to take the other set of goggles and just place it there on the helmet so y'all can get a, get a good look at that also you can see why i already got the one gun in the holster so we have to put it in there dealing during the detailing so it looks real good uh <clears throat> I advise to use a little bit of heat on these joints and stuff, but other than that, I mean, he's alright. He's pretty decent, except for I don't like the fact that these pieces are loose in here. I don't like that. What not one, one bit, and it looked like I don't know if y'all can see that in there. Let me see, can I get closer in there? So it looks like that new joint is hooked up to the neck area. So that's why I can't get this neck to move in and out like buzzers does. So you can see that really close in there. All right, so there he is with buzzer. And there he is with snake eyes. All right, for closing, um, for Mr. Hawk, uh, the, face sculpture looks, the face sculpture looks good on him. Um, get his light back on him. Uh, the detail on him is tremendous. Only gripe I have is that shoulder deal with the little loose setup in there. I guess with that new drop down they got in there, it's, uh, it pops loose somehow. Uh, but I'm not going to be playing with them like that. Pretty much pose them up. For right now, they're going back in the box. But I can deal with that later. Um, but he looks good. Pinless knees. Pinless all elbows. So that looks really good. Yeah, I mean, you can get this guy from Target. He is uh, showing up in Targets. And I don't know if he is exclusive to Targets. But so far, I've only seen him in Targets. But other than that, man, yeah, go and pick this guy up. Um, he's 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 worth the he worth the penny. Penless, like I said, penless joints, pen everything penless on him. So I like the detailing on him. The detailing is tremendous. 
Um, the leather jacket is crazy. I like that. His face is crazy. I like that also. The detail they went into this guy is very, very good. All right. As I always say, God is good all the time. TNT Neon Prime out. Y'all be blessed.